right, let's go ahead and continue with domain 4.1, now going over wireless devices. So when installing wireless devices, we want to have some common installation considerations, doing stuff like site surveys, configuring heat maps, having proper security figuration of our access point. So that's going in, making sure we're doing WPA2, WPA3. With our site surveys, we want to uh, do this to understand the environment and optimize the placement of wireless access point. Then the heat maps we're going to use to visually represent signal strength throughout our environment and throughout our office or compounds. MDM. So when we are protecting our, mobiles, our mobile devices, our fleet of mobile devices, we want to implement an MDM solution. So this is going to be a software suite that gets installed directly onto the device that's going to allow us to monitor, manage, implement security, containerization, do remote wipe, and that's how we're going to protect our mobile fleet of devices, okay? So a couple major things with MDM. First, we have to do device enrollment. So first, we have to enroll the devices into the MDM system. And then that MDM system will probably give us a single pane of glass into facilitating that monitoring, management, and policy enforcement. We have policy implementation. So defining our policies and then applying them. And then, of course, remote management capabilities. We can do device tracking, remote wiping. Remotely, we can do software distribution. So we can forcefully install an application that a user may need to work on our enterprise with that mobile device. We have different deployment models. So the three major models we're going to talk about in the Security Plus exam, BYOD, bring your own device. This allows employees to use their personal devices for work, requiring solutions to separate personal and corporate data securely. This will be like our containerization solutions. With the BYOD uh, deployment, sometimes as an organization, we may want to also comp our employees, right? Maybe take on their cell phone bill if we're telling them to use their personal device. Corporate-owned, personally enabled. So this in provides employees with company-owned devices that are also allowed for personal use. So essentially what we're saying here is, hey, we have an iPhone that we give to all of our employees. You're going to use it for work. But if you feel like installing your social media apps on there, that's okay. You can text family and friends, but know that this is for work. So you must be using it during work hours appropriately. A lot of times with this, there's going to be a lot of paperwork, right? AUPs to sign, NDAs to sign, because that's going to be a corporate owned device. Choose your own device. This offers a compromise between BYOD and COP or COPE, where employees choose from a list of pre-approved devices that are secured and managed by the organization. Two different ways we can implement this. As an organization, we can say, hey, we got this LG, Samsung, Android phones, or an iPhone. You choose what you want to use. Or we could say, hey, go buy a phone of your choosing. We'll pay you for that, right? We'll take on that cost. We'll do the monthly payment, but that's going to be a work phone, right? You're going to go out and pick. We're going to give you a stipend for that. We're going to cover the cost, but that's for work. So two different ways we can do CYOD. Different mobile solutions. So we're just going to go over the basic connection methods here just so we understand them and how they increase our threat vector. So cellular, that's the wide, it offers wide coverage. We know about this, right? Cellular coverage, cell towers all across the country, international. Wi-Fi provides convenience and high speed. Uh, just another connection method we have to be aware of, especially for mobile users. Like if they're using that phone in a coffee shop and that coffee shop doesn't employ advanced security, Maybe we have an MDM enforcement policy that says they will use VPNs when connecting to uh, low secure or unsecure wireless networks. And then Bluetooth, that's used for short range connections. If we want to get really secure, we could potentially turn Bluetooth off just to protect us from Bluetooth attacks like blue jacking and blue snarfing. All right, quiz time. Let's go ahead and do our check on learning. All right, question one. Which security protocol is recommended for securing Wi-Fi networks in a corporate environment? So the strongest one we have is WPA3, and that's been a standard since I think like 2018 with introduction of Wi-Fi 6. That's the strongest encryption we're going to have for wireless, guys, or Wi-Fi. Question two. Which of the following is a fundamental security practice when using Bluetooth connections on corporate devices? 
So we didn't cover this in the slide. So just kind of extra learning here, doing over the questions. That's going to be C, regularly updating device firmware. It's kind of a catch-all, right? Like how do we protect our device, update the firmware? It's always a good answer. All right, question three. What is the primary purpose of mobile device management in an enterprise? That is going to be B, to enforce corporate policies and ensure secure mobile devices. Question four. What is a key consideration for organizations when implementing a BYOD, bring your own device policy? So it's gonna be balancing security concerns of user privacy. So when they bring their own device, we wanna make sure we have things to protect, right? To separate those data, the corporate from the personal. Question five, in the context of wireless network deployment, what is the primary purpose of using heat maps? That's gonna be B, to visualize the signal strength and coverage of the network. Question six, when considering the installation of wireless devices in an organization's network, what is an essential factor to ensure optimal performance and security? That is going to be C, conducting a comprehensive site survey. We want to make sure we do our site surveys to ensure we know where to place and how to place our access points. 